our today's topic of discussion is the continuity equation in electrostatics so for that purpose we have considered a differential volume which is having volume charge density rho v and we know that the current can be written as rate of flow of positive charge we can write like that and according to the continuity equation the d if we wish to define this then we can say that the amount of electric charge in any differential volume of a space can only change by the amount of electric current flowing into or out of the volume okay otherwise it will remains conserved so in another way we can say that the uh, continuity equations tell about the conservation of charge as well so we can write it is another way to say conservation of charge charge okay concentrate at this point if current is flowing outward from this differential volume okay then the current is flowing outward then the inside concentration of charge is reduced as the current is nothing but flow of the charge so if positive charge if current is moving outward it means the positive charges are moving outward and inside the concentration of charges are reduced as the charge is flowing outward the concentration of the charge inside reduces so the rate of change of charge can be negative due to the reduction in the concentration inside so we can write d over dt q for this differential volume can be written as rho v dv and for full surface for full volume it can be written as volume integral so this is the current it can be further written as this is simple operator so we can take it inside as well so we will take volume integral outside d over dt rho v dv we can write like this and the current can be written as the surface integral of current density over closed surface so according to that this current can be further written as the surface integral of current density into uh, uh, surface integral of current density over closed surface ds okay we can write like this and if we will try to relate this with the uh, divergence theorem then from there we can say uh, it can be further written as the surface integral of j dot d is can be tra transformed into volume integral and that is the divergence of the vector so this is the divergence theorem and if we define this then we can say it is the volume integral of the divergence of 
वेक्टर फील्ड जे टेकिन ओवर इंटायर वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू दी सरफेस इंटीग्रल सरफेस इंटीग्रल ऑफ द फील्ड ओवर द क्लोज सरफेस सराउंडिंग द वॉल्यूम सो इन दिस वे वी कैन राइट द डाइवर्जेंस थ्योरम दिस वी हैव स्टडीड ऑलरेडी ओके सो नो नीड टू कंसंट्रेट इट अगेन एंड इफ वी रिलेट इक्वेशन दिस इज फर्स्ट इक्वेशन दिस इज सेकेंड एंड दिस इज थर्ड एंड इफ वी रिलेट इक्वेशन टू एंड थ्री देन वी कैन से वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल माइनस और इंटायर वॉल्यूम डी ओवर डी टी रो वी वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल डी वी कैन बी इक्वल टू दी डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ जे डी वी एग्जैक्टली वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस एंड एज इट इज साइन वी कैन टेक इट इन साइड सो इट कैन बी minus without any change now if we relate this and this then we can say divergence of current density j can be equal to the minus d over dt rho v this is our continuity equation so the rate of change of charge density is negative okay consider a case uh, for example in a closed circuit when you are applying kcl then what's about charge it remains constant okay just it is following the path closed path however it remains same in the circuit okay so if charge is remains charge remains constant then del rho v over del, del t can be equal to the zero in that case divergence of current density can be equal to the zero so what we can say regarding this that is applied in kcl in a closed circuit the charge remains constant that is according to kcl and the divergence of the current density will be equal to the zero in that case if divergence is zero means j is solenoidal so we can write if divergence of j is zero it means j is solenoidal or we can say it is conservative okay and in continuation of the topic if we can say the divergence of j can be written as over dt okay for time being if we consider absolute value of this then we can say is equal to rho v over dt this is the divergence which will give you the del j over del x plus del j over del y plus del j over del z if the current is moving in 1d so if we consider the single uh, uh, 1d dimension 
then we can say d j over d x okay consider in the uh, change in the x direction then we can say rho v over d t and it can be further written as d j is equal to d rho v over d t into d x so it can be written as rho v into d x over d t we can write like that and what is this by the way if we write j that is current density then we can write rho v into d x over d t what is this this is velocity that is named as vd and what is if you are finding for full j then you will be rho v this is named as drift velocity i think you all are familiar from the drift velocity so no need to discuss it here again and rho v can be written as the number of free electrons that is n e so j further can be modified as n e v d okay so this is the final term that can be written regarding the current density j and uh, v d can be written as it is proportional to the e it is the net drift in the electron in the field so that is proportional to the field linear proportional okay and if we remove the proportionality then it can be replaced by mobility of the medium okay and mobility you can okay note down mobility and this can be defined as the ease of flow of charge okay so in this way replace j from here n e mobility e and j this term is further defined that is conductivity so you can say this is is conductivity okay and conductivity is nothing n e mu in the case of perfect conductor conductor conductivity is infinite as mobility ease of flow of charges infinite so the uh, conductivity will be infinite in case of perfect conductor okay so e can be written as j by sigma from here in case of perfect conductor that will be equal to the zero okay so in this way we can say the electric field inside a conductor is zero mm. okay and in reverse direction if it is perfect insulator then 
the conductivity will be zero and the current density will be zero because zero times e will be j will be equal to the zero okay so what we can say the divergence of the current density is zero if rho v rho v is constant according to kcl and j is equal to sigma e okay and j divergence of current density will be minus of t rho v if the charge is flowing the concentration is changing so these are the derivation derived terms from today's lecture so hope until this point the things are clear to everyone